Today I want to talk about mental health awareness. There is a lot more awareness on the subject now, so thank goodness for that. And there's so much resources and medications and books and podcasts and anything else you could probably think of where it could help you cope. But there is never just a one size fits all solution. I think one of the things that is important is to have that support you need, whether it's your inner circle, your outer circle. So I'm gonna keep talking about this. I'm also gonna take you guys on a ride along. So um, I'm gonna say goodbye right here, but I will be back in just a little bit. Okay, so welcome back. To tie into what I was talking about today on this video, we're gonna do a ride along and we are going to face these consequences together that might cause some kind of stress, anxiety, and we are going to take care of that together. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ellen and I am a gig driver uh, with all the apps in the Henderson, Las Vegas area. Let's back up, DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, Shipped, and Roadie, but not really Roadie. So those are my app apps. So I just picked up my first order and it, that was a nice car. It was a DoorDash order and it was not good at all. But I only have until 8.30, until my shift ends, and I um, wanted to grab something. So, but the good thing about this order is it is going to take us to an area where I could potentially get other orders, probably on Uber Eats. So, it was 7-Eleven, and so, Okay, so this could be our very first topic on something that might cause anxiety. So this was a dollar per mile order. I had to cut off that video because just as I was talking, I look over and I see a police officer. Everything was fine. I don't think you noticed me. Anyway, so, okay, so that's that's a big one and obviously one way could, we could avoid that is of course don't record ourselves while we are driving so i got that one 7-eleven order done it was terrible but i am in an area where i would hope to get good orders but all i am getting are horrible packaged walmart orders that are three dollars or they're 10 miles and they're just not worth it. So I got on Grubhub. I cannot get on DoorDash. So let me do a quick little, yep, yeah, no, 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 no. I was lucky to get that one. And okay, so this one's good. We're gonna get this one. It is 648, it's the best I can do. Three miles, Starbucks right over here. It's the best I can do. I waited for a good little while. But that's also another anxiety is when you're sitting here and you're trying to get these orders and one after the other, after the other, after the other, they're just bad orders. So we wait, <laughs> we wait and wait. maybe one way we could deal with something like that is, and suggestions down below, of course, is move to a different location <laughs> turn that app off it was uber eats and you know thank you uber Eats for sending me these orders but if i have to decline like seven walmart orders in a row stop sending them to me so maybe one way we could help with that is move to a different location so anyways i didn't have to do that this is not the best but it is two dollars per mile and it's eight o'clock so and i'm at the starbucks right here so that i do love 
and we're gonna go yep we're gonna go pick up the order it's probably not ready yet since I'm already here and I just got it so I might just sit for a little bit and yep yeah, so order number two let's go This is the third pickup, Meters. It's a DoorDash order. I was able to grab a DoorDash. It's not a great order, but I think it's, once again, going to put me in an okay location, hopefully afterwards. So let's see if the order is ready. I didn't get a chance to see if um, it should be picked up. Now I've had to wait a few minutes, so. But I'll just show you guys inside real quick. Okay, so that's McDonald's. I don't think you can see that, but this is the fourth order still on DoorDash. So I'm gonna keep doing DoorDash until um, it doesn't allow me to anymore. They're not great orders, but I'm trying to build my acceptance. So let's go get the order. Another situation that can cause anxiety and stress when you're delivering is when you think you're getting a tip and you complete the transaction and it's a zero dollar tip. That is more frustrating to me than seeing an order coming in for 250. You have to move on and, and get the next one, but this has been happening a lot with DoorDash. So one thing we could 100% do is download the Para app. I, I think they are probably fixing a couple of things. I'm not sure if they're working again. So I have the app, but I haven't been using it. So I'm gonna have to go back and check. So that is crucial. That is 100% crucial when, because if an order came in and it was zero dollar tip, I, I wouldn't have taken it, 100%. I'm gonna go ahead and end my video right here. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more deliveries so thank you so much for joining me on my channel and i know that there is other issues as far as being stressed or having anxiety when we are on deliveries and how to cope with it um but that'll be the next video so i hope you guys have a great night and i'll see you in the next video and don't forget if you haven't already to please subscribe, like, and share. All right, I'll see you guys next time.